Okay, I thought I would do this just as a sort of quick tips guide, my insight into how I buy drums, how I look for drums and things. So, first of all, number one, eBay. eBay is probably the biggest place that you're going to be able to pick things up at a reasonable price. Uh, Obviously, again, two ways of buying on eBay. You've got the buy it now option. If you see something, you think it's quite reasonably priced, you have the option to just buy it there and then. And that's how I've managed to pick up a few things in the past. Uh, and, and then, you know, as it goes without saying, it's an auction site, so you can also bid for things. And the, the one thing that I've gained really uh, from uh, looking at eBay religiously probably at least once a day over the last year, year and a half, uh, is I've got a better understanding of what pricing is for certain things, particularly things that I look for. And if you know what the going rate for a snare drum is, uh, particularly a snare drum that you're after, if you know what the going rate is, then that's also obviously also transferable to things like uh, Gumtree or Craigslist. So if you see something there that's priced 150, but you know the going rate might be 180, you know that you can possibly jump on that pretty quickly and you might get a bargain there. So they're, they're the obvious things and as I said, I think, I think knowing what the going rate for things, I, mean, I don't know what the going rate for everything is, but I've got a reasonably good idea on, on things these days and I've only done that through uh, really through research, uh, if, you, if you can call trawling eBay for research. But, um, you yeah, know, so there's, there's that, and that's quite a, a valuable resource. Even if you've got no, no intention of bidding on things, if you just watch things, then you can keep tabs on what they sell for. And sometimes, sometimes things will go for ridiculously low price. Some things sometimes will go, obviously, for quite a, an inflated price. But you never know. But when it comes to bidding on, on eBay, the some of the some of the best auctions that I've seen are the ones that finish at odd times of the day, mainly because uh, you've got less chance of people bidding against you, which obviously works in your favour. And that's times like I know 8:30 to 10:30 in the morning, people are getting up, they're going to work, they're travelling to work, they're not likely to be looking at eBay for things. Um, middle of the day maybe as well and then the same thing in the evening the evening rush hour anywhere between sort of 4 and 6 30 again people aren't necessarily going to be looking at ebay or able to look at ebay so if you see something that's finishing around those times you've got a reasonably good chance if you put a bid in your chance of winning is probably increased due to the fact that there's going to be less traffic going through the website at that particular point so that's one thing Uh, obviously Craigslist if you're in the US, um, Gumtree to a lesser degree I suppose over here, over in the UK and maybe sort of everywhere else as well. Um, Facebook Marketplace, that's another place I've picked up a few things and I found with, with Facebook Marketplace, um, and, and again it's transferable to the other sites that I mentioned as well other than eBay, um, uh, the, the People are willing to barter on things, uh, on the price of things on, on eBay Marketplace. I think actually it's almost a given in, with, with that, although you're going to have to put up with some idiots coming in and, and uh, you know, lowballing if you're trying to sell things. But uh, if you're actually trying to buy things off of Marketplace, then if you approach someone with a reasonable offer, if something's up for 150 and you maybe offer them 135, they might be willing to basically sell it to you and uh, you know just so they've got rid of it and they've got money in their pocket. It's less hassle for them. So if you put it, you can put in a bid, just don't be stupid with it and you might actually get somewhere with it. Um, the other thing that I was gonna say is, um, is basically, uh, well actually there's two other things that both actually revolve this, involve the same resource and that's actually drum shops. Now, uh, the reason why I've got quite a lot of drum heads, if you've seen a previous like 
I've been walked through to this place. I've got lots and lots and lots of drum heads. And the reason why I have a lot of drum heads is because I routinely sort of go on to websites and pick things up when they're cheap or when they're having a 20% off or something like that. So the two things with shop websites, uh, first of all, look out for clearance deals. Uh, a lot of shops will have uh, a clearance or sale section on their website. Always worth checking those out. Uh, always worth also, I suppose, and this is a general retail thing, always worth uh, um, shopping around for things. Again, quite clearly, the, the UK is a lot smaller, so it's a lot easier to, uh, you know, if you live on the, you live the very bottom of the UK, it's still very easy to buy something from up in Scotland and you can have it the next day. Possibly not so much the case in the US, I don't know, but uh, since you are a lot bigger than the UK, uh, there are some obvious restrictions there. But the principle is still the same. Um, I found it, it really does it really does help shopping around. Um, I you know I do tend to be fairly loyal to shops and I do try and stay fairly loyal to to shops and uh, you know if 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 shops show me a little bit of love then that that basically obviously means that I'm going to keep going back to that shop and they're going to keep getting my money and and that's obviously uh, about building up a two way relationship with uh you know with that particular retailer and if you can do that fantastic they know you you know them you know you can trust them and uh you know you can have a, a good working relationship there and you, they might be you know they might treat you to a little bit of a discount here and there where they can but with regards to the websites it's always worth shopping around i found particularly um there, there are certain there are certain shops in the UK which I note are noticed, noticeably more expensive than others for the same stuff, um, and you know it all comes down to whether or not you know you want to put money over there as opposed to over there. You know I think certainly in the UK the quality of service is generally okay, but um, you know as I said it just pays to shop around. Now the other thing with regards to the shops is it is always worth signing up to uh, mailing lists and uh, I'm going to more actually probably more so than anyone um, yeah more so than anyone uh, drum shop in the UK uh, and the uh, ha actually seen a, a little less recently but he's done some other different things uh, evolving sort of big discounts and things but uh, if you sign up to the drum shop mailing list then they'll bas basically mail you when they're having uh, their sale club uh, which can involve like you know 10 15 20 30 40 percent off things or alternatively sometimes Andy basically just blasts out a list of like 150 items at stupid prices and the amount of stuff that I've bought um, over the years off of the back of that uh, is ridiculous now the uh, and, and the probably the best example I've got for that is my Sakai trilogy kit uh, which is the mod orange kit which uh, actually, his bass, well, the bass drums in there. The toms are around somewhere. But um, I got that kit, uh, albeit a couple of years ago now. But I got that kit brand new, direct from the distributor, so it never even came via the shop. I got that cheaper, brand new than you can still buy it now, second hand. Uh, I've still never seen a Sakai Trilogy kit cheaper second hand than I bought that brand new a few years ago and that was off the back of this sale list I've bought um, another another really cheap thing actually I bought was the Minel um, oh, I can't remember it's like the extreme ride it's the it's the basic the 20 inch ride symbol with a 10 inch bell on it and I bought that brand new in a bag for 50 quid and again you can't I don't think you can even buy it second hand for that uh, and that was brand new. So the thing is, is it's worth signing up for these things. Uh, drummers only do 
you know, uh, this uh, similar-ish type of thing. Uh, obviously, they send out mailing list. Graham Russell sends out bits and pieces as well. Um, and it's also worth following these shops on Facebook and social media as well. Drummers Only and Sound Attack, they both do, uh, again, they're both UK, uh, they both do sort of live at five, you know, sort of videos where they walk you through, uh, you know, the store live. And it's worth catching those if you can. I think the other thing that's worth me mentioning really on a, on a final note, and it's probably the obvious one, uh, which someone like me, who's uh, uh, a little bit older, uh, I was buying things from drum shops in the old-fashioned way um, before you know the internet really sort of took hold on on e-commerce and things. I used to go into my local drum shop uh, and I used to buy things in person, and um, you know, like I touched on before. You can have a one-to-one -one relation. I mean, you can have a relationship with a retailer uh, over uh, over the internet, and probably a perfect example of that is my relationship with Steve Maxwell in Chicago. I've been buying drum. In fact, I bought another drum off of Steve just yesterday, um, and I have been buying drums from Steve Maxwell for 13 years. Um, my first drum was the five and a half inch Timeless Timber um, and I, I don't know how many drums I've had from Steve over the years. I've had a lot of the Craviotto stuff. Uh, in fact, probably 75% of the Craviotto stuff I have has come from Steve. Uh, loads of other bits and pieces. And I've never once spoken to Steve in person. I've never spoken to him on the phone. I've never met him. Um, I doubt he would be able to even pick me out of a lineup. He might, um, <laughs> but I have a great relationship with Steve. Steve's been very. Curious. In fact, I think Steve is probably one of the best. Um, Steve runs probably one of the best drum shops in the world that I've dealt with, uh, and, and I think uh, whilst I never dealt with Shane Kinney at the uh, Drum Centre of Portsmouth. Um, I, I know that their customer service is really good too, and um, they're worth a follow as well. Like, like I said, is going into your local drum shop, getting to know the people there. I think the thing with my local drum shop is, um, there was a point where I knew everyone that worked there, um, and you know, over the years people people leave, and, and it got to the point where I didn't actually know anyone. I, I kind of know some people there now. Um, uh, because they came back there, but uh, I, I don't really have so much of a working relationship with them. But that's only because I started to buy off the internet more. And the thing is, is with that, uh, without making any excuses, is I'm kind of quite a long way down the road of knowing what I want and knowing uh, what to expect. So I don't necessarily need to go to a drum shop every five minutes to buy things because it's a lot easier and possibly even cheaper sometimes to buy it straight off the internet. But the thing is, is I still have a working relationship um, with certain drum shops and, uh, and that's very, I think that's very beneficial for me and very beneficial for them as well. And actually as an aside, and, and, this, and, and I've been very lucky uh, over the years as well, and, and I think that's possibly to do with, with through circumstance of, of having reviewed stuff and, and having, um, I, I'm not going to say I have any sort of name because I don't, but I'm very lucky and I'm very grateful that people watch what I, I do and appreciate what I do and like what I do. Um, but sometimes that does actually rub off as a benefit to myself. I've been very lucky in that respect that people do um, give me little discounts here and there. And, and I think that's actually really off the basis of me being me, uh, whatever that is. Um, and yeah, on that note, I, I'm very appreciative. I'm very, very grateful. And thank you. If for anyone that's ever done me a favor, uh, monetary wise, that sees this video, thank you. I am genuinely heartfelt grateful uh, that you've done that. But anyway, um, I hope that was helpful. See you next time.